hi uh, in this video we are going to see the mechanical actuation systems uh, using belt chain drives and mechanical aspects of motor selection right so earlier videos we have seen that what is a mechanical actuation system and the mechanical actuation system uh, is the one which is going to help us uh, to convert a motion from one type of motion to another type of motion so linear to rotary rotary to linear or any form of uh, transformation of motion from one place to another place we want to have some uh, mechanical components so the mechanical components like uh, cams uh, gears gear trains so all uh, will help us to transfer a motion from one to another system so that's what in uh, even uh, if we have that in every um, household products or whatever we are using uh, industrial products there are uh, some important output is required that is some uh, aspects we are working so if you have a, a washing machine we can see that the rotors uh, the spinners has to rotate uh, for uh, the draining these cloths all right and then uh, even in the cases of flour mills if you see the machine which is used for uh, flouring this uh, grains so there we need some mechanisms the mechanisms of whatever it is there we need some uh, power sources and some linkages and the uh, working actuators that we call it as so for everything the power has to transfer from one end to another end that's uh, we are going to use some different kinds of mechanisms like gears if you see the gears the distance between the shafts so if it is very closer then we can use that gear system and if there is more torque to be uh, transfer we can use the gear system but in case if you are uh, uh, transfer if you want to transfer motion from one shaft to another shaft which is having a long distance medium to long distance 1 meter 2 meter or up to 5 meter distance also it's very difficult to, to make gears uh, contact with the shafts so to because materials and everything it will be a, a problem and weights and uh, the transfer of uh, powers and all then we can go for uh, belt drives uh, some uh, medium power to uh, larger power we can utilize this and the distance medium distance to larger distance we can use it so it's a rolling device normally a pair of rolling cylinders uh, and uh, that one cylinder being transferred the motion of the one cylinder can be transferred to the another cylinder through a belt okay the belt drives are used even in a small level that um, if you take a tap recorder uh, inside the tap recorder uh, also we can see that a small uh, belt drives will system will be there uh, for rotating this player as well as in a bigger floor mills also it's used and crushers and everywhere it's there you can see belt drive uh, functions with the help of the friction developed between the uh, pulleys by using the belt okay so when a belt is uh, connected with another pulley then uh, motor is rotated so the power is getting transmitted be because of the frictions created on that so the difference in the tension uh, occurs due to that the torque is transmitted okay so here uh, we can see a, a small example of a belt drive so one is a driver another one is driven so the driver as a mechanical motor maybe a motor which is carrying uh, electrical armature and all so when we switch down that the motor is going to be rotated so when uh, the rotor is rotated it will be rotated with an uh, rpm that is standard rpm for the motor what is developed is maximum 1000 1500 rpm motor suppose if you take but i want to produce uh, more rotations i need more speeds so what i can do is i can uh, use uh, another pulley which is having a smaller diameter so the motors uh, the output of the motor is connected to the another pulley which is a smaller diameter so that the speed of the driver and the speed of the driven it, it is the ratio where we get some more speeds uh, it depends upon the size of the pulleys okay and the belt and the chain drives we see next is the, the tension side uh, is t1 and the slack side is t2 then the pulley is a driver a torque we can create on a is 
T1 minus T2 uh, or radius of A. So like if it is a driver, if B is a driver, then what it is this uh, T1 minus T2 into radius of B, right. So uh, the power what it is required is uh, the tension between uh, two uh, pulleys T A T B and the difference, okay. So here the belt and the chain drives uh, we see the distance if the distance between the shaft is large a belt drive is more suitable than the gears okay so that <coughs> for the smaller uh, distance between the shafts uh, gears are the best one and for the distance if it is more then obviously belt drive will be the better one and the different size pulleys can be used for a more speeds uh, increasing of speed or reducing of the speed like that size of the pulley different sizes of pulleys also can be used just like in the case of uh, gears how we are doing uh, speed to increase the speeds how we are doing the same method here also we can do it so the open belt and the closed belt are two different belt systems over there so in open belt the forms of uh, the belt fully contact the one side of the belt fully contact with the cylinders in closed belt or cross belt the both the sides will get in a contact so uh, this is one uh, thing and uh, the types of belts will be used for different applications it depends upon uh, what is the torque required and where we are going to use so the v belt we count as v belt and suitable for light duty uh, whenever very less power supply is uh, when a drive is there then we can use the v belt and a wedge belt is uh, this one suitable for high power and small pulleys like that flat belt system uh, medium uh, where, where we can cut the reversing can be accommodated so flexible and it is resistant for oil and easily joining of length of the flat belt is a suppose if you want to extend also it can be extended high strength okay and the poly wheel it's a combined wedge shape uh, thin section number of v shaped will be there more so poly v shape we call for high speed and uh, high shock boarding conditions we are using this type so and uh, chain is there where, where it is a uh, what is the interlinking of uh, sprocket and the chain it takes place for uh, may even for bikes uh, for bicycles we have seen from um, uh, sprocket to wheel to sprocket the transfer motion of mechanism takes place so it prevents the slips uh, it, not in the case like uh, uh, belt drive so belt drive there is a problem as a minimum uh, what is it uh, belt drive is friction based and here it is chain drive is engagement type based so belt drive is me medium and longer distance uh, chain drive for short and medium distance and although the belt drive is suitable for parallel shaft but in case of chain it is parallel but even a small change in the parallel also it will get uh, it is a, immediately it will get out of the sprocket so um, belt drive can adjustable for even a small changes in the parallelism but the chain sprocket it is not possible and slippages may be occurs in the belt drive due to overload but in case of chain drive it won't be there so there is no slippages occurs and uh, the velocity ratio re is remaining fixed in the chain drive and uh, efficiency of the chain drive is more than this uh, effectiveness of the belt drive so belt drive uh, need uh, minimum maintenance uh, but in a chain drive we need maximum maintenance uh, for uh, lubrication and everything if there is any small uh, uh, if you are unable to if you are not doing the lubrication and all immediately uh, it will get rusted and uh, soon it will get break so there are uh, the, these are all the difference between the belt drive and chain drive system so uh, we have seen uh, the mechanisms what are the driving mechanism or components which is used as well as in the motor selection also we have to check with this uh, type of bearing noise level and the type of uh, closer enclosure which is used for the machine to cover so when we are selecting a motor we should check so many components so many things specifications uh, most probably this uh, what type of bearing it is having how much uh, noise level is there and uh, what is the uh, cover how partially covered or fully covered uh, rotating force are there like that we have to check in the mechanical aspect uh, economical aspect as uh, cost variations and uh, maintenance charges these are all we will check before going for a selection of motor uh, for these things okay uh, these are the uh, topics we have covered in this module uh, the 
machines okay mechanisms what we are about is this one right